my own personal work that I make is just the way that I answer everything I think about. <laughs> the work I'm doing here at the Art Colony is these life-size caribou. They have rebar frames. And then I'm basically stitching on burlap and the burlap contains seeds and dirt and then I will put them in the parks and then they will grow flowers <laughs> in the summer. I was just gonna do it in my living room, but then my husband suggested that I look for a studio. <laughs> so then the art colony had this space, Studio 21. Coming here is really great because I just take my kids to school and then I just work here until my kids get done with school and it's like world shattering to have that designated time to work. A couple years ago I was an artist in residency and I made this very big wolf which had like a wooden skeleton and then I covered it with pre-purposed textiles and at the end of the residency I had people come in and then cut the skin off of the skeleton. I wanted to basically take that idea of this like deconstruction of work and non-preciousness and just carry it further. With the caribou, I will put them outside and they will also kind of like deconstruct in the sun and the weather and with the people. And then of course the seeds will come through the skin and I think the burlap will like kind of fall apart in an interesting way and then dirt will fall out. Caribou actually, used to live here in Minnesota. And then as soon as people came, they started moving out. I feel like progress in human society is like building more buildings and making more money. And this just like pushing forward in this human-centric way. I kind of just want to highlight the fact that humans are responsible for a lot. Art is a way I can respond to feeling powerless in this system.